Hello, my name is Ada and I'm a believer and welcome to my channel. As you can see, I'm new at this and I decided I'm just going to plug through and try give it a try, flop or succeed. But I know I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. Uh, my name is Ada and it used and it used to go by A to B. A lot of people call me A to B because my middle name was B. Uh, my middle initial was B. And it stood for Bertley. And when I was young, kid, like, that's an old-fashioned name. I don't like that. I wanted to be Barbara or Sandy or something like that. But I was A to B, A to Bertley. So my cousin started, when I come to the Lord, which was back in the 80s, uh, I was raised in church, but like most of us we go out we find our own way or some of us do not all of us thank god There's some smart ones out there but uh my cousin started calling me a believer because i become a believer and when i fell in love with jesus i mean i become pretty zestful and radical and and which is a good thing but and i'm still radical for jesus but i'll just explain you this is my that's why i'm a believer and welcome to my channel anyway. I want to give this a shot. And I thought I'd get on here and, and share some of my inspirations. Uh, songs that the Lord has given me. I, little tunes and things that I, I wasn't even, didn't even realize how much I was hearing from God. But when I would be fighting a battle, you know, and we have to fight a battle. We have to have faith. And we have to believe in God. And trust in his word and we have to apply that word to a lot of situations because the enemy is out there and lots of voices saying this is going the way it's going to be and this is what's going to happen you know common sense tells you well there is something that even supersedes common sense and that's the word of god and it's exalted above all of his names so we can trust it we can trust it so lots of times i apply little tunes Sometimes I have to work on them and, and, you know, make them a little better. And then sometimes they just come out like they are. And I don't do much to them. But I've, I've come to know that God's speaking to me. And that once he's given me that, I'm obligated to stand on it. And the first one, the first little song I sang that I really uh, wrote down and tried to remember. And I've sang it often since then. Was about a... Uh, a court battle between uh, my over my grandson and he had went for a visit they had split custody my daughter's son and his uh, dad they had split custody and he went for his summer vacation and well the daddy refused to send him back and he lived in another state and there wasn't anything we could do about it and we were just all heartbroken and so we waited a while. We waited a year and we tried everything to get him back. So one day my daughter just decided that she'd go get him. So <laughs> secretly her and her husband went up there and met him after, as he got out of school and they got him in the car. And he didn't want to get in because his dad already warned him. He says, your mama go to jail if she ever tries to come and get you. And he was afraid for his mama. And she said, no, it was, it'll be all right. Just get in. We want to just talk to you. But anyway, they got him in, and they headed back for home through a different route. They took a long way around to come back, and it was a really hush-hush. And I was watching the two younger siblings, and uh, I was, they didn't even know anything about it. They didn't know where mom was going. They just knew he was going to stay with grandma for a while. Well, when she called me, I was at the beauty shop. My cousin is a beauty operator. And I got this call that they had, had him and they was on their way back. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I was just so happy. And I, I wanted to share with the kids, but I couldn't, we couldn't tell anything. She wanted to keep it hush-hush till she got him back here and it was fully. Because once they got him back, there wasn't anything they could do. Because, like, we couldn't, the laws wouldn't go across the state to get him. The laws wouldn't come back across this line to get him either. So once she had him, she had him. And there wasn't a thing he could do about it. So we got him back, and I went in there. The kids are sitting there, and, I, and this little, little tunette come to me. And I, so I went over to him, and I said, I want to tell you something. I said, 
I got a feeling we're gonna have a good, good time. Oh, I got a feeling we're gonna have a good, good time. We'll sing our praises to the Lord. We'll rejoice in one accord. I got a feeling we're gonna have a good, good time. And I, you know, I would stop there. I've added to it. I've added to it since then. That was just a chorus. But that was such a joyful day. And we did rejoice in one accord. And it was a wonderful, wonderful thing. Because there wasn't anything he could do. Up, and he was glad to be back home with Mama. And it's a long story. But you know how some of those things can go south. But it's, it's, it even took a different turn later on. So, uh. Since then, he grew up. He was he went to work and had his job here, and he was on the job one day and and was driving a truck for the company. And the, I think the brakes went out, and he ran smack dab into the back of a a stopped semi that was carrying rock. And they he didn't kill him instantly, but they had to get the jaws. Took him like 49 minutes to get him out of the truck and get him into town to the ambulance. He was out on the highway, and uh, sadly to say, he went on to be with Jesus. Jesus took him home. Uh, we was met a flightening to from this little town to a, a city, a bigger city, and he halfway between here, they brought the helicopter down because he passed away. And this has been many years of sorrows here, but you know, I've come to think that song has meant more to me now than it did then because we will i will see i believe i'll see my grandson again because i i believe god dealt with his heart and he had a long time and he had, could have had a long talk with jesus you know just a simple simple thing god was with him and and i think he's with where he should be now and i will see him again and we're going to have a good good time and we'll sing our praises and we'll rejoice in one accord. And we are going to have a good, good time. But I have, I just wanted to share these things on there. And I thought maybe somebody else would realize that when if God gives you a word or and you put it to music or song, I wish I played a, a guitar or a piano or something that I could, I could kind of plunk with my music because sure would sound better than just some me singing sometimes i do sing with some guitars and things but at the church you know because i i'm faithful church goer i'm a pentecostal and i love the lord and uh across the line of all denominations i love people i love you know god wants us to love one another so you know god is doing some great things even in these bleak last days where you can read on in the, in the bible there on the pages how things are going to be and we can witness that we know we're in the end times we're not getting close we are in the end times so keep your song don't let satan steal your joy rob you of your faith if if you know stand on his promises and you'll be a winner and share your testimony with others that's how we encourage one another and there is a silent majority of people that love the Lord and they're not they're not powerless they are very powerful in their closets in the war room they are very powerful and we know the enemy the adversary goes out and does things that paints things tears things down does the ugly things declares victory and marches but you know, God is watching and he's in control. And I just thank him so much that uh, I can be a part of this. And thank you that he was so good to save me. And his blood has made atonement for my sins and redeemed me back to him. I just love him. And I encourage you to love the Lord and share your testimony. And thank you for watching. Would you share it for me? So maybe it We'll get out there and maybe I can share some more songs. I intend on trying to share some other tunes. I've got a lot of them. They come at different times and different ways. Now I'll have individual use for my life. And maybe you can share them, you know. Uh, we share songs all the time. And I have a cousin that writes music. Oh my goodness, that writes songs. And 
they're just beautiful. And you, you know, I sometimes think you got to hang out with people with like faith or with like talents and, and let it rub off on you. So if you sing a song, sing it to somebody. Don't worry about what you look like or how you sound. Just share your testimony. Thank you for watching me. And I hope you catch me on my next video, whenever that's going to be. God bless you. Bye-bye.